Hey everyone, this is Nathan here with uh, kind of the first part of the series of what is the gospel based off of Hebrews chapter 6, right? We need to make sure that if if we're following uh, Jesus, if we're preaching the gospel, we want it to align with the word of God. And so Hebrews 6, 1 talks about the the foundation of uh, the very gospel we preach is repentance, faith in God, baptisms, laying on of hands, the resurrection of dead, and eternal judgment. And so um, I'm doing a video on each of these. So this is a video on repentance specifically, um, and we'll continue to go on through the rest later on. But uh, repentance is something I I grew up hearing a lot, but uh, I think it's a word where we've heard before, but sometimes we don't have full understanding of what that is or even what it looks like. even many people that came to John the Baptist who proclaimed a message of repentance before Jesus came, they said, you know, what should we do? Like, what does it, <laughs> what does it mean for us to repent? Um, and to, to some, it was, you know, stop um, taking more money than you should if you're a tax collector. Um, to the Roman citizens, it was be content with your pay. Um, ultimately, John was saying, you know, change, change the way that you're doing life. Um, Because there's things that you're doing that's hurting others, it's hurting yourself, it's hurting God, you know. So we need to to find out what those things are and turn away from it, right, and come into alignment with God. I like to relate um, our lives oftentimes with like a guitar. If you were to take a guitar and um, oftentimes we try to put our own understanding of life as we've experienced it. And when we do that, we're almost restringing a guitar that sounds so out of tune but we've played it for so long, it seems like we don't even think that there's a better uh, sound that it could possibly come up with because this is all that we've known life to be. But yet, <laughs> when we continue to read the Word of God and continue to uh, let God to tune us through His Word and we begin to walk out His Word by repenting of our uh, the way we used to think and now thinking the way that the Word of God tells us to think, God begins to retune us to where we begin to have the the beautiful notes of a guitar is beginning to, to be played in and through our lives, which is ultimately what the aroma of Christ is, right? It's <laughs> it's Jesus, the Son of God, living through us, which is our creator, right? Our very creator, the, his character of the invisible God that we can see is so clearly made known when we just look around outside. His character wants to live in and through us, and he's revealed his character through the Bible. Um, I want to bring up one other kind of point of what that looks like to repent, and it talks about that a little bit in James chapter 3. It's it's basically coming to submission to God, right? Um, or James chapter 4, I'm sorry. And starting in verse 6, it says... Uh, Scripture says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify you hearts, your double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning, and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. Right, so this is what that process has looked like. Um is really to take it serious. You know, the beginning of wisdom is to fear the Lord. And so if, you, if you've if you never just gotten alone with God and got serious about, you know, God, I need you, like in everything. I mean, this is a, a daily occurrence in my life. <laughs> it's just crying out to God every day, knowing how much I need Him. And I encourage you to do the same because it's impossible for us to try to, to live our life according to the, the Word of God, right, according to the Bible. But we know that God can do it in us if we believe, which leads us to the second part of the foundation, which is faith in God, which is what we'll talk about more tomorrow. And so, or not tomorrow, whenever the next video gets made. So if you uh, have any questions on further of repentance or anything like that, please feel free to, to comment or to reach out or anything. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.